Hey, Dan Perry here, and I just purchased this cordless DeWalt 18 gauge brad nailer with my own money. They didn't sponsor this video or anything. And now it's time to put it to the test and see if it was worth the 350 bucks that I spent on it. Let's find out. So, after putting it to the test for the last two months on several projects, here are my thoughts. First, let's get right to the main point, which is, is this bad boy capable? Can it get the job done? Now, it is quite a bit heavier than a pneumatic brad nailer, and the sound it makes took a little getting used to. But overall, it worked great. It seemed to do everything just as well as my old boss ditch. The only downsides were the size and the weight. But that didn't even bother me because it was still far easier and more convenient to manipulate than having a brad nailer connected to a hose, dragging around an air compressor, having to plug in the air compressor, having to wait for the air compressor to come up to pressure. And despite the fact that it runs on this battery, I was still able to finish an entire baseboard job with plenty of battery to spare. So yes, this is a great tool and it's highly capable. I especially like it for small projects because as a pro handyman, I often tackle small repairs that only require a few nails, like replacing one piece of door trim or nailing on one piece of shoe molding. And with my old setup, I'd have to lug around a heavy air compressor, plug it in, wait for it to reach pressure, connect the hoses, and then I'd have to wrap all that up again when I was done haul it back to my truck and load it in, and it was just a whole bunch of extra tools. With this, I just pick it up, shoot a couple nails, and put it away. But, would I recommend it? Well, let's take a closer look at the features. So first you have the battery, and the battery it comes with has this battery indicator. You just push the button, and it shows you how full the battery is, and it loads in the back. The gun can also stand up on the battery easily, and it balances quite well. Then you have a spring-loaded magazine to load the nails in, and you also have this low nail indicator right there. When, you're, when it gets low, that turns yellow right there. Load the nails in at the top, push that up. Comes with a belt hook here, so you can hang it on your pocket or your belt while you're working. You have a trigger lockout, so you can't pull the trigger, and this won't activate the gun, whereas with that unlocked, you're gonna be able to turn the gun and obviously pull the trigger. You also have a stall release latch. So if you have a stall, you can pull that back and you have a jam clearing latch. So if you get a jam, you just pop this up here. This will lift up and then you can get whatever jam you have in there, close it back down, snap it down just like that. You have the Nomar pad on the front so it doesn't scratch the surface that you're nailing. And then you have this light that functions as a headlight, a low battery indicator, and a stall indicator. It'll flash if the gun has stalled. And then right here, you have a switch that goes from sequential action to bump action for rapid firing. Here we have it on sequential firing, where you push it, pull the trigger, and you have to push and you have to go through that cycle every time you want to fire it. You have to push it down and then fire. If we move it to the bump action, and I was really surprised by this feature because how rapidly it will fire. I figured there would be some sort of a delay, but you can fire it pretty much as fast as you can bump it up against the surface. If you flip it over on this side, you have a depth adjustment wheel, and then you also have a nail depth indicator right here, so you can see where it's set. Now this isn't super good, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think you'll get used to it after you use it a little bit. Then you have these two extra contact pads on the bottom here with some nice storage. And the brad nailer comes with the gun, 
the battery, the charger, and a contractor tool bag. And at first I thought the bag was kind of silly, but then I found it extremely useful. I could pack extra nails, shims, and other tools I need. And it's kind of weird, but it's probably my favorite feature. So let's wrap this thing up. The DeWalt cordless brad nailer has a couple of obvious benefits. It eliminates the need to lug around an air compressor, deal with wires and hoses, and the need for a power outlet. The downsides are that it's big, it's heavy, and it's expensive. So is it worth the cost? Well, if you're a pro and you use a brad nailer at least once per month, I think it's definitely worth it. It will help you be more efficient, save time and effort, and as a result, help you become slightly more profitable. However, for most DIYers, I don't think it makes sense. The convenience doesn't justify the cost. That's because you can buy a high quality brad nailer and an air compressor for only $228. And you'd be able to use that air compressor for dozens of other projects in the future. So what do you think? What do you think is the best brad nailer setup for your situation? What do you think is the best cordless brad nailer that anybody makes? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Freaking fly over here. Now I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. If you enjoy working with your hands, fixing stuff, repairing things, working with tools, have you ever considered turning those skills into a profitable business that you can either run part-time on the side for some extra cash or you could take it full time and replace your income. Now, if that sounds at all interesting to you, then I recommend you check out my website, handymanstartup.com, where I have all kinds of free content where you can learn more about what it takes, how to get started, how to get customers, and all the things you need to run a successful business. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.